Happy Valentine's Day! This is my Valentine's Day video. Surprise! I wanted to do a more romantic video, but I couldn't really find time to record with Greg, so I thought, how about like a self-love video? I'm personally not very good with self-love, but I thought, you know, if it's self-love towards like your own creations, that's a little easier for me to talk about. In this video, I want to focus on self-insert characters. I remember a few years back, or maybe not even that long ago, self-inserts were really, really looked down on. And I never really understood why, but I did let it affect me a lot. And I just want to talk about why they shouldn't look be looked down on. I want to talk about why they're not that bad. <laughs> wow, mind blown. Uh, but before I get to that, I want to talk about my experience with self-inserts. So... When I first started really getting into art, I was making tons of self-inserts. Um, I made self-inserts for all the shows I really liked. So I made like a Total Drama Island one, a Chowder one, um, Flapjack, Mario Kart, which I know isn't a show, but it was a video game, so I really like that. Um, oh, uh, uh, El Tigre one. Oh my god, I love that show. Um, but yeah, and I didn't get any backlash on it because I was not getting any attention on my art. And any attention I did get were from people my own age and at my own skill level. And they also had self-inserts. So it was just like a whatever, like this is a totally normal thing. It wasn't until I made a self-insert for a larger community, I guess. Um, you guys may have heard of the game Amnesia The Dark Descent. It's kind of a weird franchise to make a character for. Um, but I did. I was super obsessed with the game. It was so popular on YouTube at the time. I loved watching playthroughs of it. I owned the game. I've only played like 10 minutes of it because I'm super afraid of anything. I don't- everything. Like, I don't know why I even have it. And I really liked the aesthetic. And I wanted to make a steampunk character. I don't think steampunk matches that aesthetic. But in my mind, back then, it totally made sense. And it was, she was 100% self-insert looked just like me and she was like everything i wanted to be very much mary sue um and i posted her on deviantart and i got a very long comment from a stranger telling me why she was a terrible character she was badly designed she doesn't fit the story she was stupid i hate when artists like you make stupid characters for games because of this and blah 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 and I don't remember, I may have <laughs> shipped her with Daniel. I, I think that's the name of the main character, I don't remember. I don't know if I shipped her with him, but I wanted her to interact with him for sure. And this person was not having it. And it hurt my feelings a lot. I don't think I took down the picture, but I stopped making self-inserts. And I wish I had the comment for you guys, but I deleted my account a long time ago, so I can't read it to you. But that's when I started um, hearing, uh, learning that self-inserts were quote-unquote bad. <laughs> bad. You should never have self-inserts. They're cringy. Um, they're, they're just, you know, Mary Sue's are bad. Self-inserts are bad. Um, you should be making super original characters and don't get any inspiration from anything. And I feel like this was a more like common, common, common opinion back then but it's still around you still see so many videos like so many videos on youtube tearing down quote unquote bad characters and self inserts and um channels dedicated to oh my god and i just don't understand why it's so looked down on why there are so many negative opinions on these types of characters i like i said i don't know did i say this already i hosted <laughs> i posted a few twitter polls on self inserts and um the results were overwhelmingly positive and i was super surprised but i will say like some of the comments i did encourage people to leave comments on um you know comment on their opinions on self inserts and a huge majority, which makes it self redundant, but um, like 99% of the comments said, hey, self inserts are totally okay as long as they are well written. Well, I'm here to ask why? Why are they only okay if they're well written? What's so bad about poorly written self characters? What's so harmful about self inserts who don't really fit in the story? Um, 
I completely understand wanting well-written characters, uh, but I think, <laughs> in my opinion, um, who cares? You know, if you come across somebody with a poorly written self-insert, why does that bother you so much? If they're a Mary Sue, why does that bother you so much? Some people say, well, it ruins the story, but does it? Because their self-insert doesn't affect the story. It doesn't change the canon, you know? Like, ignore that character and the story is exactly how you remember it being. It's good. <laughs> Just because somebody's character isn't, doesn't mess that up for you. Okay, thanks for listening to my video. <laughs> but I feel like that's like my biggest thing is people complaining that they're not well written. Like, okay, not saying that all self inserts are made by new artists because definitely like they're definitely not. There's a lot of artists who, you know, are, you know, not beginners and who have self inserts and they're proud of it. And I'm like so ecstatic for them. Um, but I will say like a majority of the self inserts that people think about, you know, when, when people hear self insert, they think about the poorly written ones from beginner artists and, and younger artists. Um, oh my god, I completely forgot about what my point was. How does that happen? Okay, so I'm not exactly sure if this is the point I was trying to get to before, but it is something I wanted to get to eventually. So, um, how I was saying that a lot of self-inserts are from younger beginning artists. These are their first characters. Um, they have a lot of time to improve on their character making and developing and stuff like that. And you're just tearing these artists down for not meeting your expectations that you've set on them. I mean, what? I give them time to improve. Like, let them have fun. Self-inserts are freaking fun. Who doesn't want to be a part of a universe that they love? I freaking love Harry Potter. Do I want to be a wizard? Heck yeah. It's not going to happen, but I can sure as heck make a character to fit that universe and live out my wizard dreams through them. Like, who cares? What if, and if they're poorly written? So be it. They're a poorly written character. Is that going to harm you? Is it? Is it harmful? Is it ruining the story? No, because she's not actually a part of the story. Um, but yeah, like, there are, like I said, there are, like, channels and videos dedicated to tearing these apart, these types of self-inserts apart, and a majority of those people that they're making fun of are younger beginner artists. And you are, if they find those videos, which I'm sure a ton of them have, you are mocking them. <laughs> and it's messed up. Oh my gosh, I feel like I should make a separate video for this because I hate these guys. Oh, I hate those people. You are crushing their feelings. You're crushing their um, inspiration. You can potentially stop somebody from drawing altogether and from making um, characters. Like, you. I feel like developing characters is a whole different skill because you can be an, an incredible artist, but developing characters is it's kind of like a writing thing as well. Um, you can be an incredible artist, but a terrible writer. And if you know, you, it comes with practice. And if you end up crushing somebody because their, you know, self insert didn't meet your expectations, well, they're not going to improve. They're going to quit. And you could have, they could have. Why would you want to do that to somebody? This video is all over the place. I knew, I knew in my heart that I should have scripted this, but I want it to be like a more genuine rant. I love ranting and I hope you guys like listening to me rant. And if you don't, like that's totally fine. That's fine. Just wait for a different video. But seriously. <laughs> Oi. I also want to tell you that, hey, you person artist that you're listening Hey, person listening, if you have a self insert that, or multiple self inserts that you are like embarrassed of, freaking don't be embarrassed. If you look, if you look, <laughs> I am getting so emotional. But if you look to your past OCs and you're like, dang, they are bad, they're cringy, they're, ooh, how could I come up with this? That just means you've improved. And you should be so happy. And you you know what? Who is stopping you from taking that old OC and rewriting them a bit and making them better? You can still use them. 
or you don't have to rewrite them and you can just have them in your past, but you should still celebrate them, I think. It's like, I don't know, they were your original babies. Why would you toss your babies to the side like that? That's messed up. Be a better baby maker. Wait, okay, you know what? <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a good term. A majority of you guys are very young. Um, oh, I'm getting a tummy ache. I did hear one argument about self-inserts saying that um, giving criticism towards a self-insert will make the artist uh, feel more offended because they, they feel personally attacked because it is a self-insert. And to that I say, yeah. <laughs> I can totally see that happening. I'm sure it has. It totally makes sense to me. Um, but even then, like I don't think we should shame artists who never into like never making a self-insert and to look down on their self-inserts because not every artist is gonna be like that. There are definitely some people who are more open to criticism and to be fair, criticism is hard to take for a lot of people, especially when it's like unwarranted. But yeah, it's just, you know, <laughs> I, yeah, it happens and I can totally like see that side. Um, but overall, self-inserts are like harmless a majority of the time majority majority okay i know there are some very weird self inserts that should not exist and they are ooh. but yeah like i feel like they're they are like the perfect gateway to beginner artists like exploring um like exploring character creation you know it's such a great inspiration <laughs> this makes sense but you know uh, does that make any sense? I feel like a majority of artists start from self-inserts. That they draw reg like random things and then they get into a series and then they're like, I want to be a part of this universe and they make it. And from then they explore with character creation. Um, I don't know. And I, I just feel like it's just the perfect gateway. I'm just repeating myself, but I just want to drill this into your heads that self-inserts are awesome. They play such an important role in an artist's history and in, in, in their just their growing up of being an amazing artist. <laughs> like there's nowhere to go but up and um, self-inserts aren't bad and you shouldn't be ashamed of them and you should bring them back and you should treat your self-inserts with love and respect and kiss your self-inserts on the forehead and be like thank you for you know like helping me grow and be better and you served your purpose and i'm you know like i'm so happy that you exist because i wouldn't be where i am without you because you wouldn't <laughs> like in my opinion you had to start from somewhere and self-inserts are the starting point for a lot of artists. Seriously, I'm so passionate about like not looking down on your old art, which I have had trouble with, by the way. I feel like people are going to go to my old videos and be like, you said bad stuff about your old art. Well, yeah, of course, because I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, I feel like every artist looking like every video I've seen of every artist looking at their past art, they're like talking down on it. So I'm like, I should do it, too. But I want to make more videos about not being embarrassed about your old stuff. And this was just a rant that went all over the place. Um, I'm sorry if this upset you, but I just wanted to be ranty and genuine and it's like midnight, <laughs> so. I'll see you guys very soon. And I uh, love you. Be good outlets! I'm gonna come, that's gonna come, come back, come back. Please be good outlets and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!